Welcome back to Illustrator CC. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the grid tool. So uh, you can see in Illustrator, I have this um, this uh, the rectangular grid tool available here. This is uh, from the line segment tool. Basically, usually is on here. And if you go out to the tear out bar and click on it, again you have to hold the mouse down on the tool, go all the way out to the right and click on the tear out bar. So the rectangular grid tool is kind of strange in that when you draw it out you basically get this grid and you know you can have it kind of stretched out like that or like that if you hold shift key you can maintain proportions basically making them square grids and to change the numbers as you're interactively drawing out you can hit the up arrow what that'll do is it'll create more horizontal lines or the down arrow will subtract and then if you hit the right arrow you basically get more vertical lines and then if you hit the left arrow you get less so you can adjust it that way you can also just click out and set the actual number of divisions however you want um, while you have the tool selected again uh, so if I want five and five and then click OK I mean that's basically what it looked like so let's go ahead and delete these and show you what you can do with them so I'm going to draw one out and I'm going to hold the shift key while drawing it out. And typically this tool really isn't used for much except for guides. So I'm going to go down to uh, the view menu, go down to guides, and I'm going to create guides. I'm going to make it into a guide. Basically anything you draw you can make into a guide. Now what I can do is I can use something like the rectangle tool and I could basically snap to these uh, little squares and pick whatever fill I want. So maybe I want um, I don't know this blue fill here or you know bright orange whatever color I want here and now that I have one I can hold alt or option on the Mac to drag and make a duplicate copy now if I hold shift while I'm doing that I can snap to a new square and I can repeat this action so again holding on alt or option and snap now right now I have three of these if I want I can hold the shift key to select all three or while I have one selected I can go up to this little widget here which is select similar objects which selects them all then I can hold down alt or option again and drag downwards and snap so you can see how you can create like windows or a checkerboard or something like that in that nature pretty easily uh, this one didn't quite snap into place so kind of move it up and down you can also kind of just nudge it with the arrow tools to get it to line up Sometimes a snapping action has to do with um, having smart guides turned on. So if I uncheck that, sometimes these guys will snap better. So again, I'm going to hold alter option on this guy and move it over and literally snap into place there. Now, um, say I want to make a duplicate copy of this. All I got to do again is hold alter option on the Mac, drag. I'm holding shift to maintain my order and I get to here. Now if I hit this hotkey of Control D or Command D on the Mac, it's going to repeat the last action I did. So I could keep repeating, repeating, repeating if I wanted to go out. I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo a couple times. I can grab all three of these again by shift clicking or again I can simply click on one and then click on this little icon here. However, that would select all of them. So in this case, I do only want to hold the shift key because I only want these three selected. And then I'm going to hold alt or option on the Mac and drag downwards with the shift key until I get them to sort of snap into place there. And now I'm going to hit control D or command D on the Mac to get one more. And now, voila, I have essentially a checkerboard. Now I don't have the white squares filled out, but you get the idea how you could work this uh, with a grid tool. So uh, the rectangle grid tool does have its purposes typically for pattern shapes. Think of the sides of a building. If it was a flat edge of some sort, textures and so forth, that you want to repeat the shapes, it's great for this uh, idea. All right, we'll see you next in Adobe Illustrator CC. Until next time, cheers.